Hey Calvary, Pastor Sean here. Today's word for the day is out of Genesis chapter six. Today we're talking about the story of Noah and the flood. And if you've been a Christian for any amount of time, you may have heard about this story. But I think there's a lesson here that's worth mentioning, one that reaches deep into our lives and our view of God. Let's jump into the passage now. Genesis six verses 11 through 13. Now the earth was corrupt in God's sight and was full of violence. God saw how corrupt the earth had become, for all the people on earth had corrupted their ways. So God said to Noah, I'm going to put an end to all people, for the earth is filled with violence because of them. I'm surely going to destroy both them and the earth. Now, I remember when I was younger, watching my teacher do the felt board storyboard art with Noah and the ark, I remember learning about how God and, and God is full of love and how he is patient with us and he is a good, good father. But I remember reading this passage and thinking, wait, what? God's going to put an end to all people? Can he do that? And sure enough, in the later chapters, God did just that. He put an end to all the people on earth. But here's the thing. I didn't get this as a kid, but I get it now. Uh, and it's a twofold lesson. Number one, God is the creator of the entire universe. Every cell in your body is a creation of the Lord our God. And every cell of every living thing God destroyed through the flood was an intricate and important creation of God. I didn't create them. They didn't create themselves. God did. And the first thing that I've learned is that what God has created, he is sovereign over. Guys, when God creates something, he can do whatever he wants to with it. And this is where the second lesson actually comes from. And it started with the realization started with me realizing that I'm still alive. I have life. God may have destroyed everything on earth, but because of his goodness, he actually left Noah, his family, and those creatures who were on the ark alive. And he saved them because he is an all-loving, good, and perfect father. You see, God could have totally reset everything and been done with humans, but because he is perfectly good, we know that whatever he decides to do with his creation it's ultimately rooted in goodness and love. So it's important to know God is ruler of everything and he is a good, good ruler. Because at times when we see nasty things happen in this world, our first thought may be, God, I thought you were good. That's what I did with the, with the story of Noah and the flood. My first thought was, God, how could you do this? I would have saved all those people. But our response to God in the face of hardship or sadness or whatever shows our lack of of trust in God's character. Now, I'm in a place where I know God had no choice in the flood story. His bigger plan of redemption needed this story to happen. And you know how I know that's true? Take a deep breath. If you're alive today, God has spared you and is working on redeeming you right now. Trust in God's bigger plan for your life because it's not always going to look pretty. As God made the decision to destroy the evil in the world, he also made a plan to redeem each and every one of us. Be blessed, Calvary.